Aquarius, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly read for the week of May 9th through to the 15th. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Aquarius propensity person out there. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Aquarius placement that you may have in your chart. If it does not resonate, feel free to check out any of the other 11 videos that are on the channel. All the videos are for all of you. All my contact information is in the description box. Let me see how much is here. Um, please do check that out if you need anything I provide. <laughs> and all my old and new subscribers, welcome. All your cards are out, one shot, very clear cut, straight to the point this week, okay? At the end, Animal Oracle card, Worker Light Oracle card, and I'm also adding in a Moonology card just to help give you some more guidance, some more, you know, so you all know what to do with yourselves, right? Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. All right, Knight of Cups. What's going on here? Aquarius, what's going on? Okay, um, water sign energy, Cancer, Spices, or Scorpio could be dealing with or, you know, interacting with this week. But this is an offer of emotion, an offer of love. Someone wants to take you out. Yeah, or you want to take somebody out. You want to express some sort of emotions here for someone. Cups do speak of emotions. Um, this is an offer. This is, you know, communication, messages, information about the heart matters of the heart someone wants to take you out they want to you know get to know you in that kind of way okay first card out past position we have the eight of pentacles so coming into the month or coming into the week very focused on work here you probably don't even see this coming okay head in the books nose to the grind foot on the gas repetition repetition or repetition because you're trying to master something clearly Trying to stack those pentacles, ain't got no time to be thinking about nothing. Very focused on work. I think this is definitely the energy you're either in or this person is coming in. Whoever is not trying to, the one that's not giving the offer, okay? Whoever's receiving the offer, I should say. Very, very focused on work, okay? Putting in the work. Self-mastery here. Building something. Also coming out with the Page of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius could be a younger fire energy, but this is also good news. More communication energy. Okay? More communication, but good news. Passionate communication. Wands do speak of passion. Um, any type, you know, don't have to be specific, but with a cup and a wand. Oops. Let's, with a cup and a wand. Yeah. Okay, flirty, flirty, flirty messages. Flirty messages. I did see the Queen of Swords underneath there. <laughs> so you guys just might not be in the mood at all. Very, very cold, detached from love in general. But hey, present position, we have the Four of Swords with the Temperance cards. Sagittarius energy, healing, patience. You're just chilling, I think, to be honest. You're just really, you know enjoying solitude it really does you're just balanced you're just in this calm sort of zen place it's actually making me miss my bird music there we go this is healing meditating relaxing taking a break recovery this is more patience given you know balancing energy really really balanced here focused on work tending to your mind and your business this is also divine time and being at play, though, for something, for something. Future energy. Check this out. Emperor and Empress. Now, I don't know what's going on with you, Aquarius, but I don't know how you go from over, from being a workaholic to getting an offer and a little message to being married. Like, <laughs> literally, it's like, Right now, you're in this cold sort of detached energy, but it's like as soon as this message or information or conversation comes in, it's like you take a minute to pause, you think about it, you recalibrate, and it's like you elope or something. This is the, this is like husband and wife, man and woman, or, you know, whatever. Don't get political on me. Don't judge me. 
Okay, judge yourself. Emperor and Empress, man and wife. He, yin and yang. This is your divine match. This is a life partner. This is, some of you could definitely be getting pregnant. Some of you are definitely getting married. I don't know what to say. It's just... <laughs> Libra, Taurus, Aries energy could be dealing with any of those. Sagittarius, so definitely lots of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra or Taurus. It's like you go from just being in completely enthralled, emerged in work and just not really anything happening. And I tell you, ba-bam, divine timing. I'm telling you, man. The divine, I tell you, they be working. They be working. Okay? Things just be happening and you don't even know where they come from. But expect some sort of communication, some sort of emotional message from someone, some sort of good news here. That's definitely going to pull you out of this workaholic stance you're in. Some of y'all are getting, are eloping. Like you're meeting like the person for you. Straight up. Okay. No, no. See, see what I mean? Get it together. Get it together. For Aqua, please. Thank you. One card for Aqua. What do we have for Aqua? And their eloping situation. <laughs> Time to breathe out. I think so. This is like the calm before the storm. That's literally what I just heard. The calm before the storm. Time to breathe out. You don't, half of y'all don't even see this coming. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. And I did see the chariot card underneath there. So some of you are definitely traveling. There's someone traveling towards you. You're moving on. You're moving up. You're getting your ducks in a row. And you're not even aware that this is going to happen. Time to take a breathe out. This is what you're doing now. You're thinking, you know, uh, boring life for me. Work, home, work, home. That's how it looks, right? From work to home, from work to home, from the laptop to the couch, from the laptop to the couch, because, you know, we on lockdown. From the laptop to the couch, every day, just, you know, living, not even bothered by it, to be honest. Not even bothered by it. And then this communication comes in, this offer comes in, based on divine timing, something that was immaculately timed and planned, and boom. Married, pregnant, husband, wife. I don't know. Y'all are weird. <laughs> Let's get you an animal oracle. Y'all are just weird. This is a weird reading. One card for Aquarius, please. It's okay. The most important bit today. You know what you need to know. Time for a beginner's mind. Number 48, Porcupine Spirit. Time for a beginner's mind. So some of you are definitely jumping into something new here. Beginner's mind is speaking to something you have not done before. You're very, you're, you're not experienced in it. So it's definitely not work, right? It's definitely not work. It's not work. Be loyal to what you love. This is commitment. This is being committed to something, someone, lifetime partner, man's best friend. All right, let's get one more of these for Aquarius, May 9th to the 15th. I won't take that one, that was too many. One card for Aquarius, okay. What does this say? The ever unfolding rose <laughs> cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Told y'all, y'all don't see this coming. Some of you are going to be married by the end of the year. Okay, you heard it here first. <laughs> Probably not, but you know what I mean? You would definitely be in some sort of committed, heavily committed situation. If not in romance, in work. Like, you're going to meet the, the business partner of, of your life. Okay, you guys will be business partners forever. Okay, right now may seem slow. It may seem like nothing is happening, but trust me, things are happening. But right now it's time for you to take a breath out. It's time for you to chill. Because for what's coming, you're going to need to be prepared. You're going to be learning something new all over again. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. 
hopefully it resonates if you do thumbs up the video for me and i will see you next week